good evening all of you so in today's video we are going to talk about two very um unique um science updates uh, one of them uh, like i have been mentioning about data analytics and machine learning so it's related to that you can see more and more articles in the field of uh, chemistry which involve data science and uh, machine learning so one of those science updates is regarding that so recently one um, article was published in chemical science i will um like i'll put up the title page somewhere over here you can have a look and i will give you the title down in the description box also so that you can refer to that particular article it's an open access article that means you can um, view it or uh, you know download it for free now in that article what they have done there is a very popular reaction the cn cross coupling that is wuchwald hartwig cross coupling okay wuchwald hartwig many of you might have heard about it it's a palladium catalyzed cross coupling reaction so what these scientists have done is they have taken 62000 reaction 62000 reactions that have been re reported in literature and using that they have collected the data of what kind of electrophiles have been used what kind of nucleophiles have been used and then also that along with the along with the palladium what kind of ligands have been utilized right there are different kinds of ligands that can be utilized along with this palladium so in what kind of conditions or what are the optimum conditions they have given some recommendations that what are the optimum conditions for getting a very high yield of the wuchwald hartwig reaction depending upon your electrophile your nucleophile and the ligand that you are using along with the palladium right so this is one important update but the problem over here is that um the 62000 reactions that they have extracted from the database the problem with chemistry databases is that the results are sometimes not reproducible okay so whatever see uh, if we develop a machine learning or a data ana analytical like we uh, data driven model basically whatever model we are developing which is data driven then the data has to be accurate if the data is isn't accurate if there's some problem or some um you can say inaccuracy with the data then obviously the results that you're going to generate or the recommendations that you're going to generate are going to be highly off the true value so what you need is a very very um you can say accurate and a very reliable uh, database and unfortunately in chemistry at the at the point that is also one big bottleneck that you do not have um, you know access to reliable data so if some if some of you are trying to target a big problem i think this is one of them that how to generate reliable data for chemistry particularly chemical data databases so that is a big problem I, reliability and accuracy of chemical database if you have some ideas you can definitely work on that on how to like generate a reliable database now uh, now the second article that we have today again you can see the um screenshot over here is basically related to how to extract phosphorus from urine right so you know that um, um you know the urine contains a high amount of phosphorus and uh, it can be recycled because phosphorus is a very uh, useful resource and it is projected that if it is not recycled after some point of time it might go it might it might create a problem so um the scientists from fin have come up with uh, a electrochemical method to basically extract phosphorus from urine so what they have done is basically um um they have supplied some amount of specific current and at at specific magnitude basically and for specific time so generally in urine you have different kinds of anions among them phosphorus anion is also present along with chloride ion and um, there are different other anions also present so what they did they specified a particular like you know electrochemistry electrochemical methods are very sensitive so they provided a particular electronic um, current at at a particular magnitude for a specific amount of time and what they observed was that the phosphorus ions was converted into h3po4 okay it was converted into h3po4 then later on the cl minus was easily extracted and you were left with high um volumes of phosphorus solution okay so this is also one way that they have generated and they have proposed that you they can use it in urinals because the problem is that uh, sorry i mean if they use it in wastewater treatment then you know in wastewater uh, along with the urine there are also other impurities which might create a problem so what they have suggested is that they they can build up a pilot method and they can try it on urinals so the authors have suggested and then they can see how uh, you know um, like how effective the method is because uh, currently the methods that have been used to extract phosphorus from ur urine they basically need a uh, need some additive some chemical additive so it unnecessarily creates uh, a problem and we are looking for sustainable methods and electrochemistry is one of them so that is also an exciting article again if you want to give it a read uh, you can um, i'll give you the link down in the description box not the link unfortunately on instagram that is not possible so i will give you the um the title you can search it on google or on the internet and you will find the um, article and you can give it a read right so anyway um thank you for watching this video i hope 
it gave you a concise and a and a and an informative update um stay tuned and subscribe or follow this page for more such updates thank you for watching hey guys so i am a verified educator on an academy and along with that i am also available on the unacademy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is sethi sethi and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is act once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform